Formation. A phrasal verb is a verb plus adverb or preposition, and sometimes a verb plus adverb and preposition. He fell over and hurt his knee. I'll try to find out the quickest way to get there. He didn't like his coat, so he gave it away. If you don't understand the meaning, look it up. Who's going to sort out the problem? He doesn't get on with his parents. A. Formation. The adverb or preposition does not always change the meaning of the verb, and is not always used. I didn't wake up until seven o'clock. She's saving up for a new computer. Hurry up, or we'll be late. I went to lie down on the bed. Sometimes an adverb adds a particular meaning to the verb. For example, back can mean return. I bought this jacket yesterday, but I'm going to take it back to the shop. It's too small. You can look at the books, but remember to put them back on the shelf. They liked Greece so much they want to go back next year. Often, the adverb or preposition changes the meaning of the verb. Give up doesn't mean the same as give, and carry on doesn't mean the same as carry. My wife has decided to give up, stop smoking. We'll take a short break and then carry on, continue with the meeting. The shops are going to put up, increase the price of bread. When the hotel gets busy, we have to take on, employ more staff. B. Meaning. Many phrasal verbs have more than one meaning. Go away. I was busy, so I told him to go away. Leave. We try to go away in August. Go on holiday. Pick something or someone up. I picked up most of the rubbish. I'm going to pick Jane up at the station. Put something on. Could you put the light on? Make a piece of equipment work by pressing a switch. Synonym: switch something on. I put on my best suit. Put clothes on your body. C. Is all verbs with no object. Some phrasal verbs don't have an object. We cannot put other words between the parts of the verb. When does your train get in? Hold on, I just need to get my coat. The car broke down on my way to work. I'll call for them at eight o'clock. We set off about seven thirty. A. Many phrasal verbs need an object. We can usually put the object in different positions. Put on your shoes. Put your shoes on. Turn on the TV. Turn the TV on. Take off your coat. Take your coat off. These are separable phrasal verbs, but if the object is a long phrase, it usually goes at the end. For example, I turned off the lights in the living room. If the object is a pronoun, it must go in the middle. For example, turn it off. There are some phrasal verbs where the object must come after the phrasal verb. I will look after the children for you. How did the two men break into the shop? B. Phrasal verb. Dictionaries usually show the grammar of a phrasal verb like this: no object. For example, hang around to spend time somewhere, usually without doing very much. There's nowhere for teenagers to go, so they just hang around on street corners. Separable. For example, hand something out 
to give something to all the people in a group. A girl was handing out leaflets at the station. Not separable. The object must come after the phrasal verb. For example, get over something. To begin to feel better after being unhappy or ill. It took her months to get over the shock of Richard leaving. C. Phrasal verbs are commonly used in spoken and written English. Many phrasal verbs are quite informal, and sometimes there is a single word with the same meaning as a phrasal verb, which sounds more formal. We use this word instead of the phrasal verb in more formal situations. Leave somebody or something out. Synonym omit. For example, he made a list of people but left me out. Make something up. Synonym invent. For example, we had to make up a story. Put something off. Synonym postpone. For example, they put the game off till Friday. Turn something or somebody down. Synonym reject. For example, I offered her a job, but she turned it down. D.